Professor Snowden, take us to Hispaniola in 1492, a different version of history that we learn about Hernán Cortés and Pizarro, from the Incas in Peru to the Aztecs of Mexico. <laughs> what happened in Haiti and in the United States when it came to smallpox? Yes. Um, well, the, uh, Columbus landed at Hispaniola, the first place. Uh, his idea, he, the Arawaks were the native population, and there were uh, a couple of million uh, inhabiting the island uh, when he arrived. His idea was that he would be able to reduce them to slavery. Uh, he wrote about how friendly the Arawaks were and how welcoming to him his ships and his men. Uh, but I'm afraid that the uh, uh, the hospitality wasn't reciprocal. And Columbus's view was uh, this was a money-making expedition. And here it would be wonderful to have uh, the native population as mines and slaves and mines to cultivate the fields. Uh, the problem was that there was a different mortality. This has come to be called the Colombian exchange. That is to say that native populations in the New World didn't have the same history of exposure to various diseases and therefore not the same herd immunity uh, to them. Uh, the most dramatic example is smallpox. Measles was another. That is to say that Native Americans had never experienced those diseases. Uh, Columbia Columbus and his men, on the other hand, had, because it was rife in Europe. And so, uh, unintentionally, for the most part, uh, the Arawaks simply died off as they were exposed to these new diseases, smallpox and measles. And by uh, uh, 15, 20 years later, there were just a couple thousand left. And it was at this time that uh, in Hispaniola, there was the beginning. This is one of the reasons for the beginning of the African slave trade. The native population of the United States died from these diseases. And so the Europeans turned instead to importing uh, people from Africa because uh, they shared many of the same uh, bacterial histories and therefore immunities. And could survive uh, being enslaved uh, in the Caribbean and then in the New World and uh, North America and also uh, in South America. So we got the beginning of the slave trade in part as a result to this differential immunity. Um, this then on the wider scale of the New World, uh, this was something this that was devastated the native population when the Spaniards, the um, British, uh, the French came, uh, the native population contracted their diseases and just was destroyed. This uh, destroyed the uh, Inca uh, and Aztec empires. Uh, in fact, they were uh, so uh, devastated that they lost their religion. They thought the white man uh, had much more powerful gods than they did. And so this drove the missionary and conversion experience as well and cleared the land uh, for European settlers across the whole of the continent. This was uh, a tremendous impact of smallpox disease.